Welcome. Do you want to learn how to be better at Marvel Snap? How to hit infinite, gain more cubes? When do we start? We just did. Well, this is the place. So I explain my strategy so we can learn together. And if you spot me seeing a mistake, if you have something to add, just let me know. Today, I will be doing the series one and two challenge. Sakar. where I take a pure series one and two card deck into ranked infinite. Okay, we are starting at 4,816 and let's see how many ranks we can gain. All righty, first up is Afasa. Again, I want to save my Ant-Man, but I can play Nightcrawler down. That's no problem. We will play him mid. Just because. Typically, the unrevealed locations are not punishing. And that's not punishing. We can always move Nightcrawler out. And then with Ant-Man, I want to think about my curve for future turns. So next turn, I can play Mr. Fantastic on three. On turn four is where I have a gap to play Ant-Man, I think. I don't use a deck tracker because I want to mimic how most people play. So I think I will have it on turn four. Enough space. They take my Sean, but that's okay. They have Claw. Okay, that's good to know. And I have two Claws. So I will play Mr. Fantastic middle. I can get power in with claw. Like and subscribe. And it's also where do I want to place? Okay, I have to be prepared for a Professor X. So with Professor X, I think I, oh, Icebox hit my armor. I think I go here, here. And I'll stay with the Nightcrawler for now. Okay, I'm going to snap because they don't know I have my own claw. And this Professor X is a fantastic play by them, by the way. Fantastic. Yep, there's their claw, there's my claw. Hmm. And they got my Sean, so they don't have another claw. They probably move Jeff mid. So I could play the Iron Man here. That would put me at 12 power. But I think I fortify middle because that's more unexpected, the second claw. And I'm always in favor of the more unexpected play. And perfect. I think we nailed it, unless this is a onslaught. Behold, my mighty oh, won the tiebreaker. <laughs> nice. Three. So this is why you go unexpected. There's no way they expected me to have my own claw after seeing their claw played. So I figured they would be abandoning right and trying to fortify middle. Uh, I probably should have moved the Nightcrawler out just because it was zero power here. So it really wasn't doing any good. I was unsure if I wanted to move it right to maybe get, have, help Ant-Man get its bonus or move it left to just further fortify that side. And it, it probably would have been best if I would have, well, it, I guess it didn't matter ultimately. Uh, this also, I wanna point out, again, the challenge I'm using is only series two and below. Onslaught is a series three card. If you have Onslaught, 
put him in this deck and for this reason because you can do what they did and double up the claw bonus double up mr fantastic you double up ant-man you do not want to double lizard be very careful lizard is a negative ongoing don't double him to negative eight but yes if you have onslaught i would probably put him in for america chavez or honestly most other cards because he can double your ongoing cards and just take it to the moon if you have iron man down as well if you were able to get him down early but we were able to pull it out series two deck against a ranked top three thousand player good win all righty we have uh-huh Drawing cards is nice. They are also an ongoing deck. Now, I could challenge left with an Iron Man. And I think I will fill... I think I'll fill mid with Iron Man, actually. Hopefully they can't fill as well. But we will see. They might have Brood... Do I have priority? I do have priority. So Brood is now ineffective, and that may be what they're doing. So it would be very nice to stop them. I can get down two cards here. Oh, wow. They just fulfilled. Oh, fantastic. Look at all that being stopped. Perfect. So I should be able to win mid, and now it's just... Now it's just the other sides. Hmm. If I play armor and then lizard, I think I'm gonna give up the Ant-Man location. You hold my Onslaught, okay. I have to be a little concerned because they might have a claw as well. And what is Dazzler? 246. I think they have a claw. So I'm going to fortify middle with an Iron Man. Blue Marvel, even better for them. Okay, now can they fill right? They have... It's three energy, nine energy? They could. But this is my best play. Spectrum adds nine points of power. Okay, so I'm going to practice good snap retreat mechanics. And so this is a retreat. They have nine power. Nine energy, I'm sorry. They have nine energy. Spectrum probably isn't enough because they can probably flood the board with Onslaught, Blue Marvel, and these cards they played. So we're just going to retreat later. We won our first four cubes. We retreat for two cubes here. We're still positive two. And this is how you have to climb with a deck like this, very carefully. And if you can see how you're going to lose, you should retreat. And if you can see how you can win, you should stay. All righty, next up we have Seabass. Black Vortex is decent. I will wait though, just in case it's a bad roll our hand right now we have shang chi our tech card we have claw which is decent they're going straight for the black vortex turn one on nico's move spell okay Sh shang can come in handy there 
We have Chavez, Nightcrawler. I think I will play Nightcrawler mid. We will take our six cost and see what that turns into with Chavez. The top card of our deck will get buffed. That should be fine as long as we don't get an Arnim Zola. Scar, I'll take it. Monster Island. So I have two targets for Sean. And where do I play the Cosmo? I think I will play Cosmo mid, give myself options of what lane to play Shang-Chi in. We can still sneak power on a potential last turn right, so maybe that is what I do. I also have armor. So maybe that is the route I go. Let's see, let's see. Play Lizard here. Oh, I have Colossus. Negasonic, come. We have mission. Look at that. Colossus coming in handy. Let's do it. Let's go with Colossus. Snap. I have Sean for next turn. I have Claw Victory. to get power right or mid. So we were very well positioned. And so that is why I snapped. The Negasonic, I had multiple ways to deal with Negasonic, either Claw, Armor, or Colossus. And we were just well positioned. And uh, the room has gone dark because I guess it's about to rain outside. So let's turn on the lights. Lights are on. Okay, so we have Crazy Telly Uzik, Central Park first location. Do I just play out America Chavez? I have a turn one play. I like to save armor, so I don't have a turn two play. The reason I like to save armor is I don't want to give them an easy location to play their big cards without worrying about Sean. And if it's a destroy deck, I'd like to be able to target that. No cards played yet. That typically points to a discard deck. I will play Mr. Fantastic out. Colossus won't move. Can't be moved. So I could play Colossus and it would stick in Aunt Maze and go up to 8 power, which is pretty good. Depending on what they play here, I may snap. Avoiding middle, that's interesting too. Let's start with that. Okay, they don't necessarily want a Sean target, maybe? So let's see. I will play Lizard here and Colossus here, or do I flip? No, I can't flip that. That's fine. That's what we'll do for now. It may f they may fill up left, and maybe I just abandon left. I have the Sean, the armor, the Cosmo. So I. This might be a beta ray bill, you know. This might be a beta ray bill mid. Whatever they play, they play mid, and they are an on-reveal deck. I'm going to snap into this, and I'm going to play Cosmo here. And Armor here. I think I want to contest all three lanes. And playing Spectrum allows me to do that and contest Aunt Maze. And middle, and still add power left. So I think that's the play I want to go with. And this might even be one of the hammers, actually. Oh, wow. They play Jane left. Okay. All systems go. Hmm. 
So it's unlikely they play middle. So I could Iron Man. That would bring me to 22. So can they play 12 power? Right? I see a, maybe an Odin and a Hammer. If I play Spectrum, that's 9 points of power. So I get up to 20 here if I play it there. If I play it here... That does improve middle. I think I go with Iron Man right just to get up to 22. So they need to play 12 power right? And I'm not sure they can do that. And it's unlikely they play mid because of Cosmo. So that's what I'm going to bank on. Okay, so yeah, they didn't am, play I mid am. because of Cosmo. So there's Milnior. And then the Odin? We oh, Magneto. Oof. <laughs> Snuck it out. The tricky Magneto play. Victory. So, yeah, I really wasn't expecting Magneto. I was expecting the Odin. And also, if we had played Spectrum left, just for note, that would have won. Because Spectrum left would have added 7, 9, 10, 11. So I would have been up to 22 left. Middle would have still ended the same way. So now we easily could have lost if they had played Magneto middle. But again, I was playing off of I was playing off of what I expected them to do, and it just seemed unlikely that they would play middle because of what this deck is, the Thor, the Thors and Hammers deck. So we went with a unexpected play of Iron Man where they thought they could win right because we had such low power cards that Magneto would be able to overpower them. But Iron Man was able to cover that difference and we were able to squeak out the win mid. Alrighty, we have Steve Sanabria. Camp Lehigh gives us a Kyera. This is ongoing, so it kind of fits into what I want to do. We have armor, which I may be tempted to play early. I can't always move it. Yeah, I think I play armor just to get it down. I will play it into the unknown location because I see cards I want to play on subsequent turns. So my turn three can be Mr. Fantastic. My turn four can be Kyera, and then I have Claw, Spectrum. So I kind of see how my curve plays out, so I want to get armor out of my hands. Uh, let's see. I could play Lizard and Chavez. I could play just Mr. Fantastic. I don't know what deck my opponent is running. I will just get down Mr. Fantastic, get some spread of my power. Okay, they are a Surfer deck. So we could snipe that with a Cosmo last turn. I will play down Kyera. And Chavez left. I think I want to avoid right. Because their Sebastian Shaw is going to grow too large. Wow, early surfer. So do I play Cosmo now? They played surfer mid. I have priority. I'm going to snap. And play Cosmo mid. And Colossus right. So we're going to challenge right. I changed my mind.
Okay, they're extending the game by one turn. I could fill middle. Victory. Perfect. So, they, they may not have realized I actually put down Cosmo, uh, or realized once they drew what they needed, or once they were ready to pull off what they wanted to do. So them playing the early surfer says to me that there's some a way that they can re-trigger this surfer. Because you see the cards they had on, on, the, on their uh, side of the board. They just had Sebastian Shaw and then played surfer. That's very odd. So this probably means there's a way to re-trigger this surfer. Maybe with an Odin play is what I can think of. But the fact that it was played into New York means they can't move it. So Cosmo just shuts down anything they want to do to double up this surfer. So from there, I want to spread out my power because now I can play a spectrum, not mid, but I can play a spectrum either left or right. Probably right to just further contest this lane and play for all three lanes and make them do the same. With an extra limbo turn, I probably would have played Claw Middle and Nightcrawler somewhere. It wouldn't have mattered because I could have moved them. So probably Middle and just move them out if I want to. And then my last turn is Spectrum and I wouldn't have another one cost, so it would just be Spectrum. So that that's where I was headed, but having Cosmo in this deck was really able to shut off what they clearly wanted to be able to do. Alrighty, we have Denight. Hotel Inferno, we don't have anything to play there. I like to avoid it anyway. Uh, I don't find that it's likely you will take destroy a card that they need. It's more likely that you'll thin their deck for them, which is getting rid of a card that they don't actually need for the specific game. So I typically like to avoid Hotel Inferno, but that's also a player's choice. It's a car. I want to get a closer look at this. I think we get down Colossus. And uh, Sakar has destroyed the power to my house. The ice step guard is deployed flat. So this might be the last game. <laughs> so from the darkness. And I lost internet connection. <laughs> so again, it's a pure series two deck. We're going against decks that are better than ours. And so the fact that we are able to maintain against the top players, that goes to show you that this deck, you can be competitive, use strong snap and retreat mechanics. Most of you all watching this, or maybe so, at least a handful of you all, will not be an infinite, you will not be playing the caliber of, of players that I had to face with this deck. So you should be able to have some success. It takes good fundamentals and good snapping and retreating mechanics, which I hope I was able to effectively show you. But other than that, just be careful. You can use this deck. If you have series three cards, by all means, throw them into this deck. It will, of course, help you. But you can climb with a your series two deck if you're careful so from my dark home to yours i will catch you again later